Hi, welcome to our travel channel. She's Britt, and I'm Chris, and today we're going to take you over the top eight things to do in Venice, Italy. Number eight, get lost in vibe. One of the best things to do in visiting Venice is getting lost in the city. We had a plan of some places we wanted to hit on our day trip from Florence, but for the most part, we winged it. I'm glad that we did because we found some of the coolest streets, alleyways, and canals. Many locals also told us this is one of the best ways to go about exploring Venice. Number seven, Bridge of Sighs. The Bridge of Sighs got its name because as the prisoners walked from the courtroom to the prison, they would stop and take one last look at freedom from the bridge and sigh. We saw the bridge from our gondola ride, which we will go into later. The bridge was not anything fancy, but it was interesting to think about the history behind it. Number six, Libraria Aqua Alta. This isn't any ordinary library. This library has a gondola full of books and some good photo opportunities. We didn't plan to see the library, but ran into it while walking around. It's a cool quick stop if you're in the Castello neighborhood. Number five, eat pizza, specifically focaccia. You can't go to Venice without trying the focaccia style pizza. Focaccia is light and fluffy compared to regular pizza dough. It's some of the best pizza we've had and some great places to try are Fanini and Antico Forno. We decided to grab some focaccia for lunch since it's cheap and we could walk around while eating. This lets you see even more of Venice if you are limited on time. Number four, St. Mark's Square. Considered the heart of Venice, this iconic square is a must-see. St. Mark's Basilica is the main spectacle of the square thanks to its beautiful architecture. Also in the square is Doge's Palace, which will lead you to the Bridge of Size. There are also a couple of museums you can visit here as well. Number three, Academia Bridge. This bridge has some breathtaking views and was also the header of my LinkedIn. When we stumbled across the bridge, we stopped to take in the wonderful view of the boats passing by on the Grand Canal and the Basilica in the background. This was definitely worth a stop if you have some time. Number two, Rialto Bridge. This bridge is the oldest in Venice and it has been rebuilt several times since it was first constructed in 1173 as a pontoon bridge. This bridge is no longer just for getting over the Grand Canal, but is now a famed attraction. The views are spectacular of the Grand Canal, and they're shopping on the bridge, so be sure to grab a souvenir. Number one, gondola ride. The most iconic thing to do in Venice, and a must do. We heard others complain about the price of the gondola ride, but you're already in Venice, and you can't go to Venice without doing the gondola. The price is set all throughout Venice, as gondola rides are very regulated all the way to the gondolier's uniform. It's 80 euros for about 25 to 30 minutes for a private ride of up to six people, which isn't bad at all. And to clarify, that isn't 80 euros each. That's for the whole group. Be aware that at night, the price goes up to 120 euros. Now the best place to hop onto a gondola depends on what you're wanting to see. We hopped on close to the Bridge of Size, and it was wonderful as we passed by Doge's Palace and saw some unique canals of Venice. Don't forget to chat with the gondolier before taking a ride because you want a gondolier who's gonna be energetic. I hope you enjoyed our video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe and like our video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Thanks for watching.